एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Awesome. Obviously, your first uh, tour to England with the Black Caps. Have you have you played over here before? And I suppose, what are your expectations? No, nah, no, nah, I haven't played over here before. I haven't. I've only spent probably a combined total of about five days in the UK. Um, so yeah, certainly, certainly pretty new to it all. But um, yeah, look, it's obviously going to be a little bit different. Probably a little bit uh, closer to home than maybe some of the subcontinent places are like. But yeah, looking forward to obviously. There's so much history, um, you know, around English cricket and some of the grounds, um, you know, that we get to play at, and certainly relishing the opportunity to just be a part of a part of a UK tour. How was the IPL for you? Obviously, um, I suppose everything in your career had gone oh so well up until that Aussie tour, and then maybe um, you took a bit of tap there, and then you came back in the IPL and went so well. Um, how was that experience? And then on top of that, being coached by Mike Hesson and playing alongside guys like. Barat Coley and AB de Villiers. Yeah, it was a uh, um, yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. I think you know you're right. The uh, that Aussie series hadn't gone um, probably how I'd planned it, and that's probably a little bit in part to what had I guess sort of transpired the couple of weeks before that. But yeah, certainly was um, yeah, it was a pretty cool opportunity to be able to go over there and just share a change room with some of those you know some of those legends of the game, and um, you know to play in that play I guess in a different environment and to. Um, just try and soak up the knowledge from those guys, and I guess to see Hess and have a, I guess, a familiar face over there. But you know, I think all the staff and you know, and all the players and stuff were, um, yeah, were so knowledgeable that um, yeah, it could only only aid my game. So yeah, it was great, great to be involved. Um, albeit it was um, sort of you know some stuff going on on the outside, and um, yeah, I guess the right call was made to you know to cut that short early and um, yeah, and be here now in England. Was there any one piece of advice from either either of those three guys, uh, Mike Verrett or, or AB, that that they gave you that's really stuck with you and helped you perform over there? Um, no, I don't think it's anything specific. I mean, you're kind of just having passing conversations all the time and sort of different ideas around plans. And I mean, a lot of the time you're kind of sitting back and just watching those guys and seeing how they operate. And, you know, there's probably not so much the um, the specificity around you know this is what you have to do or you know, this is, um, you know, a certain way to go about things, but just little things you pick up either reinforce kind of what you're doing or just slightly tweak what you're doing as well. So um, just trying to take those little things, I think. And do you reckon opening would, would opening the bowling if Trent wasn't there would, would suit you? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think opening the bowling certainly, I guess, where I um, like to bowl, you know, I've done that in domestic cricket and, um, you know, it's certainly yeah, something that, you know, I'd like to do if the, if the chance came up, obviously you've got, Two of New Zealand's greats uh, with Tim and Trent there. So, uh, you know, rightly so, they take the new ball and I just sort of, um, you know, sort of third or fourth one in line. But, um, yeah, look, if the opportunity comes to take the new ball, certainly um, try and grab it with both hands. Yeah, having come off your sort of test summer and how, I guess, amazing that was, how did you go about processing and sort of understanding what was happening, you know, in a series where things weren't going so well? Uh, yeah, it was interesting. I probably... Uh, it probably took me, I reckon, until I had the quarantine week in India for me to sort of process everything that had happened leading into that Aussie series. Um, you know, you know, I kind of said at the time that there's no real way of um, trying to handle that sort of stuff. You just got to, I guess, do your best and just kind of see you know, see what happens. And um, yeah, probably wasn't until six weeks later that I got a bit of a handle on, I guess, what had unfolded. And you know, that series didn't really go how I wanted it to, but really does anyone's career ever pan out perfectly the whole way through so uh look it was you know i guess a little speed bump along the way but um you know took some really good learnings from that period of of my career and um you know hopefully can start to apply them um yeah i guess moving forward over these next few weeks and just um you know at india with virat i saw when you did a podcast with dan christian there was a bit of bit of banter flying around about the um the tc final but um you know is that something that you know you and him sort of talked about, you know, was it part of sort of, I guess, your relationship that you've sort of been able to build with him? Uh, oh, yeah, we sort of we sort of briefly touched on it. We just kind of, you know, we're talking about cricket in general. Obviously, we'd played against him, um, you know, about 12 months before. So I guess we'd had that sort of um, shared experience and we're talking about, you know, obviously what was to come and whether, whether I'd played in England and his experiences being in England and that sort of thing. So, um, I mean, no specifics around that sort of stuff. You know, we just sort of uh, parting jibe as we left and went our separate ways around seeing him in a month's time. Um, and I, 
had my uh, had my jukes pulled in the bag. I was going to bring up maybe the back end of the tournament and just uh, and just show them that. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously it'd be cool to. Well, yeah, I guess it was cool to share a change room with him and um, you know and to build a relationship and then um, obviously yeah share this experience in a month's time. You mentioned earlier being excited about bowling in England for the first time. A criticism of bowlers coming to the UK in the past is that they get overexcited uh, with the conditions and the moving Duke's ball. How important is it going to be that adjustment period between now and the first test match you are able to take advantage of the conditions and not perhaps overdo it? Yeah, it's a good point. I think, you know, it's certainly, it's certainly mindful of that. You don't want to start trying to move the ball, you know, two sets of stumps and then get caught caught on the bounce a little bit. I think, you know, we have found favourable conditions in New Zealand at times, albeit not with the Jukes ball, but, uh, you know, we're we're mindful of the fact that if you start searching too much that, you know, you can get hurt a little bit. So um, I think that's sort of something that, you know, from that mentality we've sort of um, hopefully taken care of, um, you know, but well, I guess we'll address that when the time comes. But, yeah, you're right, the next 10 days or so uh, leading into that first test is vital for us. And, you know, I guess we're fortunate to have, you know, some pretty good facilities here and, and, and to be able to get outside and to be able to train. And, and hopefully that'll give us a better idea, you know, I guess than what we have now around, what the ball is likely to do and what the conditions are likely to be like. And, um, yeah, I hope that'll give us, I guess, the tools to, to go out there and compete um, come the 2nd of June. And um, coming from the Maldives and the IPL and now isolating, working out at home, what's been the most um, difficult part about this journey? Uh, yeah, well, certainly, I guess we've, you know, we've moved around a wee bit over the last, last few weeks, I think. Um, Oh, probably, I guess, some of the uncertainty around, not, I mean, when the sort of things started to unfold the way they did was, uh, I guess, probably some of the, I guess, more difficult part. But I think, you know, in comparison to what was going on in, in India is, you know, I guess our uh, issues or anything that we sort of had was sort of, you know, doesn't really compare to what was going on there. And we were certainly very mindful of what was going on outside our little bubble. And um, I guess, you know, the situation that was unfolding there and, you know, we got to the point where once our bubbles were breached and, um, you know, the right, yeah, I guess the right call was made. And I think having that perspective around what was going on in India was, you know, that, yeah, that's the most important thing, I think. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.